Hello everybody, welcome to Calm Lands. So this is a new series, it's a challenge series. Um, and it's called the 200 horsepower challenge. So it was kicked off by a content creator called Crustu. Um, and a lot of other content creators have joined in. It's not a competition, it's just for fun. But I thought, why not? I might as well have a go. So I am a bit late to the party. It has been going for two or three weeks, I think, now. But I thought, why not? Might as well have a crack at it and see how we get on. So, uh, yeah, if, um, if you're a regular viewer, it does mean that my other two series will be dropped to one episode a week of each. Um, because one of the parts of this challenge is uh, two episodes a week. So to be able to do this, I have had to drop an episode of each of the others, but hopefully you all enjoy this series as well. So, so there are... Um, it's not really sort of rules. The only um, main stipulation is that... The max, the maximum is two hundred horsepower on machinery. So, um, all the default farm and equipment have been removed. So we don't own anything. Um, we just start with two hundred and fifty thousand pound, um, and from that we need to buy our first plot of land, and obviously any machinery for whatever we're going going to be doing. So, as I say, it's 200 horsepower maximum um, and avoid unreal equipment. They're the two main stipulations, really. But, um, so, the game settings, we've got easy economic difficulty. Uh, traffic is optional, but I have got it on at the moment. There's no loans, no leasing, no super strength. Seasonal growth is off. Running one day months. As I say, each each episode will be one day a month. So this episode will be August, the next episode will be September, etc. etc. Um snow is on, crop destruction, periodic ploughing, fieldstone, lime and weeds are all optional. I have got all of those on. AI worker refill are all set to off. And there is, so in the in the description of um, the challenge, it's mods from Mod Hub and Auto Drive, but avoiding Unreal equipment. So I think as it's gone on, I think the the mods side of it is more relaxed. Um, so they don't have to necessarily be from Mod Hub, just as long as they're sort of avoiding unrealistic equipment say unreal capacities and uh things like that so yeah so that is the um that's the the general information so what i'm going to do first of all so i've got the i've got the time set to two uh two times at the moment um, obviously I want to get as much done as I can per episode because we're running one episode per, well, one month per episode. So ideally I want to get as much done as possible, but I don't want the episodes to be mega long and I don't want to be doing lots and lots of time lapse. Um, so I've got to find a, a balance. But yeah, so we'll see how we go with that. But I am at at the shop. So the first thing we're going to do is buy our plot of land. So this is the map. So we've got all the sell points, the shop, all up here. There are some forestry plot there, uh, or part part forestry, um, dotted around, and then all of this is just sort of grassland. But the map is not flat at all. 
And that's where the 200 horsepower comes in. So it is going to be challenging because there are very few flat plots of land. And inevitably, if you do find a, f a flat plot, which I, I think I have, um, if you want to expand, you're going you're gonna to be encountering some hilly hilly terrain so it is definitely going to be a challenge but it's something i'm really looking forward to i haven't really done any anything like that so yeah um so the plot i'm thinking of now this is going to be crucial really because we're starting with two hundred and fifty thousand. we've got to buy a plot of land some equipment and have some left over because we're I'm not really sure where the money's going to come from straight away. So I am going to take a bit of a gamble. So plot 23 or uh, sorry, 20, yeah, 23 or uh, so field 23 plot 50 farmland 50 is 142,000. So I am going to buy that which is most of my money gone but there's going to be a lot of grass there and it is quite flat so i'm thinking straight away we're just going to get some silage done and in the next episode i think we'll be able to hopefully that will ferment and then we'll be able to sell that and get quite a bit of money back in so that is my plan so we're going to buy that. So we are left with 107,779. So we've got to get a tractor, windrower, uh, mowers, baler, bale wrapper, some way of picking the bales up, and a trailer to load them onto. So this is going to be interesting. The only thing I've done is look at the plots of the plot of land that I wanted to buy. Um, I have got some various mods installed, but this is where the planning is sort of going to come in. So I've got an idea. Um, so first of all, tractor. It's going to have to be the Fiat Agri. It's 180 horsepower and it's 33 and a half grand. And we can have a front link and a front loader. So I think that's pretty much a no brainer. So um, we are going to get the front linkage, which adds one and a half thousand. Um, tires, I'm going to leave. The exhaust, I'm going to leave. Don't need tire sound. The design. I'm not really sure what difference hydraulic pistons would make. License plate, leave. Beacons, we don't need. Front loader attacher. So we're going to go with a quick front loader attacher. Don't need GPS. And that's it. So. That's the tractor, 35,500. Now, front loader. Where are we? Front loaders. So the what's front loader tools. That's strange. All right, so the quick front loaders I'm never sure which one I mean obviously there's a size difference but I think for now the, the smallest one would do this I think we'll we'll go red to go with the tractor then obviously we're going to need I'm going to get pallet forks. I do tend to use the big bag handler, but 
that is unrealistic. So I think I'm going to get pallet forks because we can use pallet forks for bales. But also they will come in handy later down the line. Um, so it is... I think it's this one they you can spread the um you can spread the forks so yeah right so that's the tractor ported let's just make sure it does connect to the front over there There we go. And yep. Yeah. Now you can spread the forks. So we're going to put that up there. So now we want mowers. So. I'm going to go for the lizard cutting bars. They're cheap as anything and seven meters width. I think it's a no brainer. So that's going to be 7,400 for them. So we'll keep those green. Now, wind rower. I think this smash twist because that can go on the front three point and then we can tow the bailey behind so yeah I'm gonna go for that So, Baylor is going to be the big one. I don't want to spend a lot of money on a Baylor, but we are a bit limited to which bales we can. I have got this one. It isn't a Mod Hub one. It's a, a Russian Baylor, which I'm using on a on one of my Let's Play series at the moment. But it's five grand and it will do three sizes of bales so i think in this situation i think i'm i'm gonna have to <laughs> it's um it's cheap we'll stay with red yeah i think that'll do then a bale wrapper so we've got this one which again I'm using on Kalinovka let's play we'll do 150 centimeters and the good thing with this is it does have a bale turner on it so if we are on a hilly bit of land the bales aren't going to roll away which I think is a good idea. I don't really want to use the same stuff, but the situation as it is, I think we will have to. So we've got mowers, windrower, baler, and bale wrapper. So let's get the mowers over there. So I haven't really watched a lot of what the other content creators have been doing. I have 
seen a little bit of it, but um, I'm probably not going to get a chance to watch much of it, so I'm not really going to know what other people are doing. But I might be able to catch some of it at some point. Um, we want to be going this way, don't we? I don't think I'm going to stick to the roads, um, just find the most direct route down to our plot because it is a little way away. So we're going to be, we're over in that direction. There is a bridge over the river. After the bridge, we'll go straight down, and that should take us to our plot. Yeah, it's quite a big map. It feels quite big, anyway. Going over this way, then. So yeah, this is something a little bit different for me. Um, haven't really done anything of this sort, so it is really a not so much a start from scratch, but with eventually we're going to expand the farm and um, the machinery, etc. So. I suppose really it is a start from scratch except we had a little bit of money. So, uh, so we've gone the wrong way. Oh, there we go, there's the bridge. So it'll probably be quite handy being over here because Although it's a long way from the shop, um, we're right near the water. As I say, this is probably the flattest part of the map over here. So that will make it a little bit easier. It was tw yeah, it was 23. I just had to, <laughs> had to think then. Yeah, so we have actually got a road going all the way through our plot. So I'm thinking straight away we could probably get two fields going. So really what we want to do is start on the boundary. get this lowered I'm not saying we don't have access to this land but right, so we need to go over a little bit So we head right over. So I'm not too worried about going right up to the boundary edge for the grass. But when we come to plough out fields, obviously then we won't want to be going right over the right over the boundary because it will then cause problems with harvesting and things like that, so... Right, so that's our boundary. Yeah. 
so I think we will get quite a lot of um, quite a lot of grass from this which we're going to need because we're going to need to get some of that money back I think what I might do is go up to the road because that sort of splits the plot dead in half, I think. So if I go up to the road, then because um, we are going to need a space for sheds and somewhere to live I'm just gonna leave a little boundary on that on that roadside I mean that is still a fairly decent size and then we've got the same on the other side so I think we've given ourselves a, a good start with um, with the land. So if I get this all mowed, and then we can um, we can think about where we where we're going to place a, some sort of sleep trigger. Have a bit more of an idea of where we are with the land, etc. Yeah, I think I'll um, I'll get this done, and then I'll bring you back when we're when we're ready to windrow it and, and bail it. So I'll see you in a second. Right, that's that half of the plot mode. So I'm gonna windrow and bail this part. I think we'll focus on this half of the plot for now and then in the next episode we'll concentrate on the second half but, uh, yeah so get the windrower unfolded and lowered I've got the baler set to the 150 size so we'll lower that turn that on Excellent. Right, I shall put this into a time lapse. I was not down, I'll see you when it's done. Down through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. I was ruled out with no bail out on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. But I rose up from the ground just like I was real bound. All the odds were.
up here at the shop um all that's bailed now so i've come to get the bail wrapper and while i'm up here i'm going to get some sort of plow so that we can start plowing our first field out um just have a look and see what we've got So we've got a case chisel plow. I do prefer these straight um, sort of plows. I find them a lot easier to use. Um, so that is 12,000, it's 170 horsepower. A five point two meter. What else have we got? That one's four point eight. Um oh, I've got the the lizard six M. Well, that's 3.7 but it's it's two and a half grand that is cheap I wonder if the um I wonder if the lizard 6m is under a subsoiler I've got this one as well 4.2 heavy subsoiler Four point two meter, hundred and fifty horsepower, five and a half grand. Well, we've got these that are part of the field creator pack. 
Ähm. Hmm. Wonder where that 6M is then. I think we're going to go for the international. Five point two, yeah. It's going to give us just that little bit, little bit more width. All right, so. That on the front three point. Be fine. Oh, I head back to the field. The plot of land. Right. Get these wrapped. So the good thing about this was I managed to um I mean luckily I was able to to get them all drop in right at the side of the field, so it's not gonna take too much just to get them out of the way so that we can plow the field. So this wrapper does take a while to wrap but then it does um, it does flip them on their side so just put them over here for now and then they're out of the way. So I think it was 23 bales we got, and they are five and a half thousand litre. So around 110,000 litres of silage. So that should give us a pretty decent payday. Yeah, so I'll get these wrapped and then we'll we'll get on with ploughing out the field. Time to plough out our first field. So this is just going to be one big field. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep a keep a bit of an edge from where we've mowed, just so that. We don't have problems when harvesting, etc. So we need to turn on allow create fields. Lower that. And off we go. And we're going to turn down the uh, dust. Because that is a bit too much. So that is the Dusty Lands Extension mod. It's still quite dusty, isn't it? Just turn that down a little bit more, I think. It does vary, the levels of dust vary depending on what job you're doing. But yeah, that is creating quite a lot of dust. I do like to try and keep the edges as neat as possible. So we probably will go back over some of them.
this is going to be a decent sized field. So I'm not sure what sort of stones are going to come up on this, but um, I think we will leave them this time round. But probably in the future, I will um, I will probably collect them, and then we can turn them into lime some sort of lime production or debris crusher. They do look like they're only small anyway, so. So I think once we've created this field, um, could possibly be it for this episode as we need to get so what, what we're going to need to get we're going to need some sort of spreader lime and fertilizer depending on whether I get a direct drill um, we are running precision farming so I'm going to need to purchase the soil information um, so yeah, uh, some sort of spreader, um, direct drill preferably, a roller, a trailer, so quite a few purchases ahead. And we're on 16,000 at the moment, so I think once we've ploughed this field we will probably sleep to through to September and then September hopefully the silage will be ready to sell and then we can use that money to, to buy the next lot of equipment so yeah a few bits to get done but I'm pretty pleased with the progress so far for the first episode. Trying to find our bearings and planning things, etc. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to put this into a bit of a time lapse because it could take a while. Like I say, I don't, I don't want to do too many time lapses, but um, it is going to be sort of necessary sometimes. Man, I always had stories about the city life. And the crazy nights I figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out See what it's all about But the traffic was fast And the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kind of miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck Rat race What's next? Change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated. 
can't it and overrated. it Down here everything is understated That's alright by me I got everything that I need But there is breakneck, paycheck Okay, just finishing off the last strip, and that is our field ploughed out. So that is a nice big field. Pretty, pretty pleased with that. It is a bit too square for my liking, but um, it's the first field, and I just want to make good use of the uh, of the space we've got. So over here we're going to have an odd shaped field or maybe two <coughs> um, this is at that is actually a slightly bigger path so why is that saying there's a little strip there That's odd, that little bit there. Oh, now it's gone. That's strange. Um, yeah, so we've got this little bit over here. So we probably could have made that a little bit bigger, but um, but yeah, so we've got this area. So I think I'm gonna, part of that is gonna be a bit of a yard space and then probably have two fields so we'll have one sort of strip going down here and then the other one will sort of come round the yard space and up round there like that um but yeah so for now that is our field cloud out So, just got a couple of things left to do in this episode. Um, the first one being buying the soil data. And why won't it let me? I think you have to come out. I've had this before. So I might have to come out of the uh, come out of the game and back in, and then I should be able to buy that. So just going to do that very quickly. Right, let's try that again. So there we go. I can now purchase that. So two thousand seven hundred and twelve. So that's not too bad, I suppose. So what have we got? We've got silty clay, mostly loam, and a little bit of sandy loam. So not the worst, not the best, but certainly not the worst. Um, so that's that. And then the other thing I want to do, we need to put down a sleep trigger. 
so it's farmhouses. I've got the hobo pack installed by Omatana. So we could have the tent, but I would prefer the tiny house. It is tiny. Um, so where do I want to put it? I think I'm going to put it this way. We'll tuck it into the corner here somewhere. So I think I'm going to place it there for now. Because we can... We can move it. Um, and it was only a thousand, so... I mean, can actually go in it. Great little thing, this is. <laughs> Love it. That's a toilet. Excellent. All right, so. Got a sleep trigger. Um, But yeah, so I think that's where I'm going to leave this one. So I'm pretty pleased with what we've managed to get done in the in the first episode. So we've... We've bought a big plot of land. We have bought a few bits of machinery. Um, we've got a sleep trigger and we've made some silage. So they should be well on their way to fermenting now. It's four o'clock, so yeah, 14%. Excellent. So they should be ready tomorrow. Where have I got 906 euros from? That's a bit odd. Where would that have come from? Um, so obviously all that, all that in red and etc. is um, what we've bought sold vehicles is from selling everything that was on the map at the beginning. I don't understand where that 906 has just come from. That is very strange. Hmm. Okay. Don't own any productions. Or animals. Very strange. Right, okay. Um yeah, so I'm very pleased with what we've got done. Um obviously it's gonna continue in the next episode. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Um I know I'm gonna really enjoy this this series, this challenge. Um as I say, I will try my best to list every other YouTuber that's doing the series um, I think when I last looked I think there's about 19 possibly 19 other people doing it now so I will try and list everyone and um, please go over and check out all their channels and what they're doing um, it's a great community challenge I think especially as it's not a competitive thing it's um, and it's nice to see a lot of smaller smaller channels taking part so I am one of the smallest I think at the moment I haven't been doing this long so yeah um, as I say just check out their content and give them all a like and sub and uh I hope you join me for the next one. So until then, thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.